jinxed it. Like, the only thing that make it funny is if my microphone. What? What? That that just deserves. <clears throat> you know what? You know what it deserves. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, oh. so we are back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, OBS <laughs> just took a crap on me. The yodeler fell over. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's just said message him uh, what details you need to send you. <clears throat> so, do you guys want to hear about my for what? Week? Yes, yes. <laughs> for Paladins, he's he's got a copy of Paladins for PlayStation Four. Um, uh, oh. closed off. Okay, so my week consisted of we went on a family vacation. Now, for this whole family vacation, there will be I couldn't. I was so pissed when this happened as we got down there. I took video of us going down there, the trip down, the first day. You know, going to um, uh, we get now. Ob, is this your Ob on the podi moment? No, 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 no. Trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's very. It's it's around the same. Yeah, the, my OB on the podium, there will be one tonight, guys, and it's about tourists in fucking Disneyland. But this is something totally different. So we get there the first day, and we do Cookie Raid. Thank you, Maiden. Thank you. We got Cookie Raid, guys. Get your cookies right now. They're hot. They're ready. Warm with a glass of milk. Get them now while they're hot. But... What we did was we went to, uh, we got down there, got in the hotel, which the suite was really, really nice. Uh, we had like a two-room suite to where we had the living room, the kitchen, and then one room on each end, uh, which was, which, like I said, it was nice. And then we had um, the, when we, then we got everything going in there, met up with the rest of the family, and then we went, the first night we went to Medieval Times. Nice. <clears throat> that in itself was like just awesome, Okay. Uh, we had VIP access, so we were front center. I mean, it was just badass. Um, we got all the treatment. We got I got some you know some souvenir stuff from there. I got uh, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> got all the footage. Got home, and I'm like, damn, I'm, this is gonna be a really good video. Went in there, edited the video, forgot my intro. Okay, and it wasn't on the drive. I couldn't get it. And then I forgot the. Or, yeah, basically, I forgot my intro. And then when I was getting ready to download it from the drive or upload the video, the internet would kept going out. Mm. So I couldn't upload anything. So for you guys that are, you guys will see everything that we did um, here in the next. I'm going to try to get it up and running before um, before we move and we disconnect for a couple weeks. Um, but it's it's one of those things where it, you guys are going to love it. Uh and then we like coupled it. We went to Disney one day, then we went to Epcot, then we went to um, Universal, uh, we went to another one, then we went back to Universal. We did the, the all the Harry Potter stuff. We did, yeah, it was really really fun, um, but it was just really really a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of walking, which I didn't walk at all, but for everybody, it was just like there was the crowds were there and. We're starting to get into my OB moment, so I won't go any further. But it was really fun. Um, I got, I do, like I said, I got footage of everything, so you guys will be seeing that here soon um, on the uh, Obi Wan Kenobi page. Yes. Well, so okay. everybody knows Daredevil doesn't walk. Hmm. Daredevil doesn't walk. He parkours and building to building. Because we have established last week that you were Daredevil because you use a cane. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sometimes like, I was there. It, it, it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's it's one of those things where like now that I'm back up north and in the cold, like it's <laughs> forgot how really good this cold it was. <clears throat> My joints are starting to hurt more, and, and but it's we got some stuff that um, some uh, topical creams and stuff that I put on my my knees and my hips and stuff. But for the most part, we had a blast. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be good videos that come out. I got like twenty hours of footage, um, couple thousand pictures. I mean, it's yeah, and I'll be spreading the pictures out through the 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 specific days or the specific videos. There's probably about nine or ten videos. It's really cool. cool. 
I got a lot of work in the next three days. So moving out and making videos is going to be a, a challenge. If you put, if you set up a studio inside the moving truck, you could do both at the same time. <laughs> or, or you could take clips every now and then and set up a whole montage. It's gotta be a montage, montage. <laughs> a moving montage. <laughs> a moving montage. Well, I am gonna, I am gonna be doing like getting footage of like you know like uh, I'll set the camera up. Um, and then get us taking boxes and moving them in and then, like time lapse it or do something, do something like that. And then when the truck, it's actually a pod because we got to have it stored for like two days, three days or whatever. And then, mm -hmm. then we transfer, sign the paperwork and then we get immediate position. It, it's a whole, right now my stress level has gone back up to a 90 when it was down to 30 at some points during my vacation so it's one of those things where i'm just kind of always thinking always like get it done now can't get it done now i get like why aren't they answering their goddamn phones it's christmas time it's not christmas yet answer your phones Duh. but everybody's checked out for a week or two already yeah <laughs> it's on her it is just got this cheap music in my head you gotta pack your pot and get ready to move away. Yeah. It's Woo. a montage. <laughs> wow. Montage. <laughs> you don't even need words. Just make use that rhythm to it. Montage. Right. Stress level is through the roof. Kitty Yogi. There you Kitty. go. You can put whatever you want. Yeah, uh, what about the roof? Damn it, I, got, I, I had it and I lost it. I, I just need you to say montage. <laughs> montage! And a new house is on. Ah, oh, we lost him again. <laughs> <laughs> and a new house is on. You guys can both uh, suck it. Montage! <laughs> you guys are going to be part of my OB on the Pody moment. <laughs> I got two it's of them now. Montage. Other trucks. Oh, boy. <clears throat> but see, look, 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 this is why the 80s are great, because you, you had, like, the most epic montages and, and, and like, shitty songs that were catchy. Oh, it's great. Pretty big much. hair. Over the top. Everything was over the top, yeah. Cobra. Oh, what's Cobra. up? You, uh, you, you don't feel nostalgic? You, you, what, about, what, what was one of your favorite cartoons during the 80s? Danger Mouse, maybe? Mighty Mouse, no? Something. Oh, man, Danger Mouse. Probably mm -hmm. Mighty Mouse was up there. He was. Um, yeah, man. So long. Montage! <laughs> <laughs> Been too long to watch cartoons. It's okay. You can still watch the TV in your room. <laughs> Montage! <laughs> I'm not even gonna. You know what? <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to bed. Um, uh, well, I like well, the one that I was. Be while you think of the one of a good 80s cartoon, <laughs> Thundercats, uh, Teenage yeah, Mutant Ninja Turtles. Back, you know the yeah. other turtles. Rugrats were a good one, but they were like ninety, I think. Um, Stretch Armstrong. Anybody? I remember the doll. I don't remember the cartoon. You guys remember yeah. uh, the cartoon, the Richie, one those early ones. the Richie Rich cartoon? Oh God, yeah, um, I forgot all about that. Yeah. Uh, he Man, Samurai Pizza Cats, He Man, He, he Man, she Oh my God, Shira, uh, He Man and Shira, the hottest couple that was the wrongest couple. I like, even remember no! back in the day, dude. Their when brother I was, and sister. I remember. I, I do. I remember this. Uh, back in the day, when I was five or six years old, um, a, a show came. It was the Muppet Babies. I was gonna was say, the, yep. My yep. Bad babies, we make our Doug, dreams come true. <laughs> Doug Rugrats was down there's nineties, but No, nah, I'm I'm gonna take you way back. Uh Heathcliff. the Centurions, Heathcliff and Garfield. Mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. Space Go Dude, the all dude, oh, this is DuckTales. So good. DuckTales, yeah. Darkwing it, Duck. Darkwing Duck in I think ninety two or ninety one. And then Goof mm -hmm. Troop. Uh, after hey, that, 
Hey Arnold. Gargoyles in 94, I think 95, oh, somewhere man. in Gargoyles there. Gargoyles was See, good. we're bleeding yeah. into 70s and 90s right now. No, we're not. It's all going over the same. Camp, camp. All right, how about this? Camp Candy in 89. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Beetlejuice, the cartoon in 89. Yep. Saturday morning cartoons, baby. Shame that only lasted like two seasons, I think. Might have been only one. Believe Which it was still not. good, though. Actually, it, it was. was. I think it was two, maybe two seasons. G.I. Joe know, started man. in 85, I think. Oh, old school Transformers. Yeah. Didn't they have that crossover with the G.I. Joes? Oh, my God, yep. But yeah. that was in the comics, though, wasn't it? Um, What's another Did one that started in the 80s? Um, uh, what's a... his name? Uh, in, uh, Inspector Penny. Gadget? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yep. Damn, he read your mind. Um... Damn. Sounds like it's time for another Smurf, montage. Like the Smurfs song. came out in 81. Montage! <laughs> Even the ghost, the real Ghostbusters real came Ghostbusters. out in 86. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, Felix the Cat. Tyler Claw said. Oh, that was that, 90s. Oh, Felix the Cat. That was 90s. But, uh, oh, um, Gummy pi- Bears, like Tailspin. Pirates, Tales. Pirates of Dark Water. That might have been 90. Mm, that might have been 90. Mm, that's good, though. Count but the entire class is Alf and Alf Tales. Yeah. Tailspin. Oh, yeah. I said Tailspin. Tailspin. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and I mean, it was late 80s, I think, 89 or whatever, I think, but, but like Bobby's World. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, with uh, Howie, Mandel. Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel. Yeah. yeah. Who's a dick, by the way? Remember. I met him. Yeah, he's really? a dick. No. Yeah, he's oh. a douche. I met him in Vegas. He's a cocky piece of shit. But he's a funny dude, so whatever. Um, it's like I'm gonna laugh at you, but you still oh, suck. What is that? Should be yeah. person, but you know, it's entertaining. Um, Chippendales, oh, Rescue ooh, Rangers. Yes, that's who I, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was looking at. Your Rescue bruh. Rangers, eighty nine, bruh, dude, bruh. Wait, what? What's uh, the uh, step brothers are like? Did we just become best friends? Danger, yep. Danger Mouse. <laughs> you guys remember Danger Mouse? Yep. You said that earlier. Obi, were you were you on the show? <laughs> We were busy becoming. We were busy becoming stepbrothers, man. The adventures of this is this is the one thing where after you guys remember that bear called the Teddy Ruxpin. Yep. And then the adventures Mm -hmm. of Teddy Ruxpin came out there shortly after. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that everybody with a Teddy Ruxpin could play along. Snorks. 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 Yes. Oh, come along with the snorks. Sing along with the snarks. 80 <laughs> Fuck you, Obi, because you don't know me. Dennis Come snarks. along with the snarks. <laughs> if you can live underwater, oh, Mr. Well, where would you go? <laughs> if you can sing underwater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so can, and you know, you ruined the mojo, Obi. <laughs> show's over. <laughs> you know, your you're singing son. ruined the mojo, homie. No, it's the snarks. This is a catchy song. I can't forget... <laughs> So one of the songs that I, I can't get out of my head. It's like, that shit was catchy as fuck. I don't know what it is. Snorks. The underwater Smurfs. That's what it was. When did, didn't RoboCop have a car? No, RoboCop had about two cartoons, right? Because the first one was like around the 80s or 90s. And it was more serious. Then the second one, he was like rolling around this Asian chick. And they were solving mysteries. And he could like make skis and all sorts of other stuff pop out of his feet. It almost was like borderline anime style Inspector Gadget <laughs> slash Robocop, but it was cool. <clears throat> yeah, I Jesus barely I remember, remember it. For some I got one for some you. reason it didn't click with me. And I love Robocop Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Yogi loves Robocop. <laughs> there you go. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yep. <laughs> yes. Bionic six. That's a good one. Don't follow up with Bionic after what Captain Yogi Planet. <laughs> Bionic cock. Uh, Centurion. Montage! I said a Centurion. Did you? Okay. Yeah. What is Centurions? Is it Centurions? Yeah. Yes. It's your sh- you guys are ass. Oh, look. You, have a robot right, cock? you guys have the show. I'm leaving. Have a good day. I'm sorry. I did, I, look, hey, I didn't expect. Don't leave me here with this. He just said. <laughs> Don't leave me here with this. I owned it though. I didn't even play it off. I said I said cock for whatever reason. I 
I got a nice little buzz going, you know. Oh, okay, was... hey, how about this? <laughs> Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. God. Okay, you're making me think of this old school Nintendo cartoon. Was it the uh, the Game Master or something? Oh, you talk about the Captain and the Game Master. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Mad yeah. uh, Mighty Max, and then you had uh, the Super Mario Brothers cartoon. Mass. Oh, that was great. It was like uh, live action, uh, and then it became real, or uh, live action Captain and cartoon. Was in there. Yep, yep. Yeah. Captain Lou in it. Uh, Lou on ba- uh, ba- Albino. Albino. Hey Albano. guys, Yogi, don't forget my little pony. Oh yeah. Oh god, we I'm got a brony little... in the house. Brony alert. You know what? I'm gonna admit, I'm gonna oh, own look. this. War Child I magically love... got moved out of the channel. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Jam and the holograms was my jam. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. She kicks some ass. First, first girl I ever had a crush on. <sighs> really? Not a uh, Patty Man the Pussy Cats. Patty I was Patty too young. <laughs> what? I was too young to know what that is. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. No, I mean, I know, I, know, like I know about Josie and the Pussycats, but I was just saying, I was too young to know what that is back then. Strawberry so shortcake. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. She could get it. She could get it. Oh. <laughs> Toxic <laughs> Avengers. Oh, man. Toxic Avengers, yeah. Voltron. There were so many. Oh, okay. Cartoon. Oh, yeah. Voltron. Wuzzles. Yeah. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop into the future for you because I used to love this show. Uh, SWAT Cats, the Radical Squadron. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, they, yep. that was a good show. With the, I mean, the guitar intro was epic. Speaking of epic intros, yeah, mask. I said mask. X Men. Like I know that was oh, 90s, yeah. but oh, nothing beats that yeah, intro. Yeah. Or 90. That that was a great show. I wish it lasted longer. It was so good. That was what was interesting. Right before the kind of print started dying, and print will never completely die, but when it print when it was really certain that print wasn't gonna be a very viable medium anymore, you know, the internet started getting big. Mm-hmm. Right in the cusp of that, the comic book industry went through like the second the second coming. It was like uh, what did they call it the the super error or something crazy like that. They, they have a, a phrase for it, but it, all of a sudden everybody was getting into the business. You had Image Comics, and then you had uh, Cross Gen. You had all these uh, like these new publishers come into mm-hmm. the game, competing with Mar- against Marvel and DC. They didn't last long, but they had a lot of quality products out there. And then suddenly, comic book shows and movies started coming out. And again, they didn't do very well, but they tried. It was like that spike right before everything started going to shit again. And uh, at that point, that's when Marvel uh, had to like you know eventually sell off. But yeah. they had a resurgence, like Spawn. The see, remember that they had the TV show on, on HBO. And like mm-hmm. three seasons. Yep. Now, uh, who own? Is it still Image Comics that own the Spawn? Because I know Angela went to uh, Marvel, and Grifter went to DC. So it made me wonder about Spawn. I'm a little behind on Spawn because I don't know what they did with them. I know it ended, but where's he at? What happened? Yeah, I think I could have sworn Spawn. Uh, who who ended up consuming the Image? Because they're not independent anymore. I don't think. Yeah, because yeah. I think Image was split up. That's why Grifter. He was if you uh, uh, Flashpoint Paradox. If you notice, they used his character in uh, a DC uh, DC cartoon movie. Whereas Angela, she was featured in. Um, uh God, what was the Marvel arc? Age of Ultron. After. Uh, whoa. Okay. After Wolverine. <laughs> Uh, broke the Marvel Universe, she kind of came out of like a rift or something, and it was Angela from the Spider Comic Books. Huh. Yeah, you know, the their website makes it seem like they're still doing their own thing because there's no other branding on there. I guess Spawn is too strong to get rid of. And they have a bunch of other stuff. Uh, you can order direct from them. They got uh, Horizon, Demonic, Savage Dragon. Oh, that's still going? Damn. Yeah, no, I hadn't heard of Savage Dragon. They had a cartoon that I think about it. Savage Dragon. I and, think so. Uh, in the chat too. Yeah, they're still going. That's crazy. Huh. Wow. I could have sworn so, they were uh, bought out. Huh. So, side note question. Would you recommend going ahead with the paperback or would you download a digital copy on something like an app like Comixology? Which one do you think would help uh, mm. the artist more? Oh, that's a good question. 
I, I almost, whenever possible, I try to buy physical. That's just me. There's probably more markup in digital, though. But yeah, it is because uh, when um, uh, X Men versus or uh, Avengers versus X Men came, the paperback copy was a lot cheaper than the digital one because I think they wanted like maybe fifty something for the digital, maybe sixty. Yeah, and there's less middlemen, so like there's more profit. On the flip side, I, I think physical is important because it's you know once it one it actually depreci it doesn't depreciate as much. It might actually increase in value. And two, I think it's important to make sure that we keep the competition going. I don't want to, I don't want things to ever go 100 percent digital because once that happens, there's no competition, and then you start having monopolies and all kind of bullshit. Uh, God, I don't know. Look at that, uh, consoles right now. Yeah, so oh, Dark Stalkers, the cartoon and the games. Oh, yep, yep. And oh, uh, Tyquan says, <laughs> what, "By the way, Ty Tyquan, if you guys don't know, he's a regular in these parts, and he hangs out with us on on, on All Games Network too. Um, but if you don't know him by now, he's a Ninja Turtles fan. So he always, anytime there's an opportunity for Ninja Turtles talk, he puts it in. He says, uh, this year was the 29th anniversary of the Teenage." Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, which debuted on December 14th, 1987. There you go. There you go. You remember that bootleg uh, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat show? <laughs> it was a cartoon. I think I know what you're talking about, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, Beauty Hat says that it helps distort the lore yeah, of the artist. Yeah, it is better to buy physical for everything. Yeah. Yeah, I see a Tiger Claw. You remember it. Pepper's Farms remembers. Mm-hmm. Lead says Street Fighter V is the GOAT. The anime, I mean, eh. You must be one of those little Street Fighter movie fans. Raul Juli Julia. Julia. How do you say his name? I mean, I'm just saying, you know, in the cartoon Street Fighter movies, you get to see Chun Lee naked, naked. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Just yeah, but the movie. There. I mean, the movie was so bad, it killed Ra Raul Julia. Julia. <laughs> that says a lot. That says a lot. That's, that's, that's what he died on. Like, the last thing he did, Street Fighter, the movie. Lita, Which... I'll say this much, man. It's like, <sighs> so, sorry to cut you off, but it's like, Street Fighter, mo fighting movies, and, fighting cartoons in general, you got to be careful with because sometimes you can't trust them. For live yeah. action, though, but for animated, they're usually on point. Mm, let me just drop this for you. Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2. That's all I'm going to say. Chun-Li naked. Thank and you. Tekken. <laughs> and uh, Battle of Arena Toshinden. They actually made an anime. For yeah, and they made an anime, and then what? And then... No, and then! He cut off, by the way. And then... Also, oh, they made it... They ate. They made an anime for that. It was horrible. <laughs> and then... <laughs> There's a lot of love in here for the Darkstalkers, man. Sorry, nice. I couldn't help. No, it. right? But, you know, we will have to talk about anime during this show if we get to it. I've been getting back on a on the anime kick, and it's a it's a it's a rabbit hole. Cause then it's like, oh, I want to watch some more, and I start trying other things. Oh, since you like this, you might like this. Oh, people that like that also like this, this, and that. It's like, oh, let me check them all out. Oh, okay, I keep watching them. Next thing, I was like, where did my day go? It's about as bad as a Netflix suggester. It's like, oh, you like this movie? You'll probably like these oh. other movies as well. I hate the Netflix suggestion because it takes into account everybody that uses your, your the Netflix account, including like the family members. Mm -hmm. So like all of a sudden, I start getting the most random shit that is totally not me. Yeah, like no, I, you know, I, I, that's I, why you make a different you make different accounts. Like you, they, <laughs> yeah. Now they fixed it, but before even when you made different accounts, it still would suggest stupid shit based off of what someone else that's in the sub account attached to that was using so like one of the kids watched a lot of black movies that are bad black <laughs> movies, there's bad ones like you know what ones where they try way too hard to be funny like all the scary movies i'm sorry yeah i'm gonna get you sucker 
Hilarious. Oh, that's a classic. That's a classic. It Scary shot me movie. in my bunion. <laughs> <laughs> then his toes all blow. Oh my god. <laughs> but but you know, with the scary movies, they try too hard. And there's only like one or two scenes that are funny, like uh, my germs, that's funny, or run that shit, you know, when the, when the guy had the jacket, like that jacket's tight, son, you know, that's funny. But then the rest of it's like, oh, it's just awkward. But yeah. so then, you know, I'm watching freaking, you know, let's say I'm watching um Princess Mononoke, and all of a sudden it suggests, oh, you, you know, based on your viewing habits, you might like uh, Medea's family reunion. What? Yep. That's exactly how it is. It'll like, you'll watch a good movie, and all of a sudden it'll be like, <laughs> you know, we got these other movies too that need to be watched because nobody loves these movies. Exactly. <laughs> like they put it in, they put it in like the, the, the B team, like, give this some love. Like, um, I'll watch an action movie, and then it tried a little bit, and it made me watch, it suggested this movie... Uh, called Blood and Bones. It's got like that one dude. It's like that one Michael J. White. Yeah, it was the fighting yes. scenes were on point, but the movie itself. I mean, you had Rufio yeah. from the from the live action Peter Pan movie. Not love action. Don't worry, I see a BFT nine thousand. But it had Rufio from the old school Ruf Peter Pan oh. movie with um uh, oh my god the 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 Lost Kids right? You talking about yeah the Lost Boys Robin the Lost Williams. Kids. Yeah, yeah, it and nothing changed. It's like he just took his Rufio persona and just applied it to this movie. Yep, but made it gangster. Yep, and he still died. And then the it, fight it was scenes. a bad movie. It was, and it even was, the fight scenes, the fight scenes, he's too stiff. Like I got no doubt that he got martial arts skills, and the guy's buff as hell. But he's like. <laughs> I don't know. I thought they were pretty good. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, know. I mean, aside from the fact that he was doing like this whole triple kick in the air thing. I mean, yeah, I'm like that. But then again, so is uh, Cradle to the Grave, where DMX runs up a wall after a pit bull's chasing him, and he does a backflip. I know DMX is short, but there's no way in the world he can run 20 feet up a wall, do a backflip, land perfectly, and outrun a dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just ain't gonna happen. You know what I think it was too? It suggested that after I just finished watching like top notch like Hong Kong action flick. Yeah. That you know, the choreography in that top notch, like those things are smooth. It's like watching people dancing together. The then I went to this and you know it wasn't bad, but compared to that, it was horrible because it was very mechanical, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he's gonna block that. He's gonna kick there. Okay, it's by the numbers. It just wasn't wasn't very special. It's like one of the movies you watch and then you fall asleep to. You know, you won't remember it afterwards. <laughs> like you ever have a movie? You ever have a movie that you watch? You watched like ten times, but you never remember when you watched it. So you watch it and then you start feeling like I think I've seen this before, and then you remember you did when it's mm -hmm. too late. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's what that kind of movie is. It's like it's like forgettable. Transformers. Revenge of the Fallen. I fell asleep in the theater. Now, granted, I was working morning shift, and I thought maybe that was what caused me to go to sleep. So I rented the movie and I watched it again. Fell asleep to it because <laughs> they kept talking about the pyramids. I mean, every five minutes, like the pyramids, we gotta get to the pyramids. The pyramids. <laughs> I woke up. They were at the pyramids. They were still talking about the pyramids. I just can't win. Yeah, transform into a pyramid. <sighs> Montage. <laughs> I didn't forget. <sighs> oh <Yeah>. no! <laughs> <laughs> I was <it> ready. <coughs> Fatality. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed as I was drinking my beer, and like, mm. oh man, I almost choked my saliva. <clears throat> Not a good combo. <laughs> Thought you were about to say you almost choked on yourself. I'm like, don't okay. You go down that far? What the fuck? Dude got skills. <laughs> he got Damn. skills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you got the, phone, the motion yeah, in the ocean. <laughs> that makes me right? think of like everybody's got like at least that one friend who's super homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll ask a question like, you know, you ever do the drinking game like 
would you e- never have I ever or never would I ever kind of thing, and you take a drink. Yeah. If it's true, if, if it's something you would do or have done, right? And you know, you'll, you'll say something stupid like, uh, I, I would suck myself off if I could, you know? <laughs> and then the one guy's like, oh, hell no, that's gay. He's like, nigga, you know, if you could, you'd be doing that all day long. Get out of here. Also, another funny moment in Scary Movie. Is that the first one or the second one? I can do it myself. Oh, the the dude in the wheelchair, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. That was a good moment. Uh, and it was, uh, oh man. Was it Anna Ferris that was in that one scene where the dude splooshed all over the room or some shit? And like, what the hell? Yeah. Like it suddenly became like a like a soft porn, except with ejaculation. <laughs> it's like that's not soft anymore. Now it's just awkward. Hardcore. Mm-mm-mm. Hardcore, yeah. To the extreme. <laughs> so, Obi, what do we have tonight on this show? I don't know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't that sounds know. good. I, I really... Okay, there's no bodies. I'm having trouble with the show notes. Sorry, I'm trying to get them back up. <laughs> <laughs> see what we have on the show. Man, oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I, I see. You just, you just dipped off. Well, I'll take over. Tonight on the show, folks, we're going to have some more Christmas cheer, some some more beer, some more shenanigans in a nutshell. We're going to do the WWBW and sprinkle it in throughout the show. Uh, some of what we've been watching. There's going to be some anime picks, so stay tuned for that. BB. No news. Yay, and, uh, yeah. I mean, darn. That's it, yeah. But, uh, Obi, why don't you tell them a little bit about the show? Are you ready now? I, I gave you I gave you the starting I gave you the jumpy off point there. No? You said Already? it was uh nobody's eighty six that wanted the code, right? <laughs> yeah, I it's not it's not coming up. So what's going on then? Well folks, if you are new to this show, Horseplay Live is where geek comes geeks come to play. And uh, I stutter apparently. Man, I gotta keep my composure tonight. I'm like all over the place. I don't know if it's the sleep deprivation or this beer. But uh, we are the flagship talk, show, talk radio show for the Geeky Hands Network in collaboration with AllGames.com. Tell you about Network, We Be Geeks, TuneIn Radio, Stitcher, and a bunch of other awesome people. Um, we're, you know, we're also teamed up with the fine folks over at uh, Puppet.Farm, who just released their holiday, their Christmas show. It's a wonderful bar. Make sure you check it out, Puppet.Farm. That's the website. Uh, if, if you look up It's a Wonderful Bar on YouTube, it should come up as well. Uh, and our show covers all aspects of geek culture, with special focus on indie and strategy games, technology, rants, issues geek face, community events, food, retro gaming, tabletop, whatever. There's a, you know what? There's no focus. That's just, we just talk about whatever. Whatever's clever. And uh, yeah, we're a late night show. We're uncut. You know, uh, we have uh, guest hosts. We have call-ins sometimes when we get around to it. So if you're on Discord, you could join us. Uh, and then we have. Folks are somewhere in the middle. They're becoming long-term fixtures, like War Child. You can't get rid I of think, us now. I think I'm like three weeks in. Yeah. Right I'm on a streak. <laughs> yeah. Only till we start talking about the furries, then we'll probably scare you off. <laughs> Depends on how furry. Well, mm, yeah, we get pretty true. furry. If it's only semi-furry, it's passable. If it's too much fur, if they get a double coat, like a Russian blue, then it's too much. Yeah, that's the cutoff. Dangerously off. furry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody says, thank you, Warchild. You're a good man. Aw. We love you. We love you, Robbie. And yes, we do do call-ins. We haven't been opening up the line enough lately. But, you know, it is always op- it is all open. Man. Boom. Oh, there we go. I had to get open rid of that. Open a channel. Hailing frequencies open. Yeah, you can join us in Discord if you want to you know, come into the lobby. We'll pull you in. Uh, even if we don't Next do the official... Death battle. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if we don't do the official Geeks Engage thing. But we, you can still join us, you know? Speaking of furry, anyone watch the latest death battle? Uh, BFT, he likes death battle. Mm, that's why he did that, which I not. Now it all makes sense. Now, uh, so quick uh, deals for cheap bastards. Free to play games. I want to point out Trove, uh, War Child's favorite game, APB Reloaded. Oh, God, that game sucked. <laughs> but you know, 
I'd rather pay APB reloading than pay for GTA 5 just because I'm a, I'm a stubborn no, person. No, no, no. Sometimes you got to spend the money to get quality, man. APB reloaded is not quality. It's like you're walking down the street. It's it's like they took the GTA, <laughs> let's say, 3 slash Vice City engine and crapped it up. And, okay, so, look, if you want to play something free, go play DC Online. That's 10 times better. Go play Warframe. Don't play APB Reloaded. I'm sorry, because you have two factions. You got the criminals and you got the cops. They give you this wonderful intro. It looks awesome. You're like, cool. I could be a street cop who looks like somebody who just rocked off of a black exploitation film. I'm ready for this. You can be like your typical Mad Max criminal. Yes, I said black <laughs> exploitation film. You know, you can be like a Mad Max criminal and be, look all awesome. And then all of a sudden they put two together and you can't fight the criminals unless their names are red. So you're sitting there <laughs> wasting tons of ammo. Dude, you know what I love about this game? It looks like something that came out in like 1999 or something, you know? It's like, this is like dated graphics, but that's what's great about it. It's so, it's so janky. Cute. Yeah. It's so, I, I love it. I can't you play know? it. And the driving is horrible. It's like even whenever you avoid hitting something, it like magnetically says, hey, you're supposed to hit this. And it veers your car violently to the left or to the right. And it makes you hit something. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, Alex. The War Child like loves this game, if you can tell. But that's free. Uh, you can play that. Guild Wars 2 is, a, is one that a lot of our uh, listeners and viewers are big on. Gigantic now is pu- open to the public. Uh, Heroes of the Storm, huge fan of that. Gems of War. Unreal Tournament. There's so many free games to play. Smite. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, um, Humble Bundle Grid is free right now for probably the next day. Oh, yeah. I saw you just say that before. Humble Bundle! You know, anytime I see Grid, I want to think... Uh, I, I start thinking about... Um, math? No, no, no. Not math. Uh, Grid Runner, which I love. Yeah, about as much as I love APB. No, Good Run is awesome. Like, legit awesome. Yogi Zogan, <laughs> she's about to get my fist in his face because it's a montage. Montage! No, Good Run is good. <laughs> good Run is good. <laughs> no one remember Good Run? Okay. Oh, but speaking that. of the Humble Bundle, you, Humble Bundle, by the way, also has the the Sierra bundle, humble humble Sierra bundle strikes back. That's pretty dope, and they yeah. got a uh, diff like four different levels you could buy in on. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna get me some Enter the Gungeon. Axiom Verge Enter the Gun Gungeon. Oh, Axiom Verge is the must have. That's like the best Metroid game that isn't a Metroid game. So like someone needs game? to. M- no, Metroid, Metroid. Yeah, I know, oh, but since it's not Metroid, it makes it like hemorrhoid, right? <laughs> oh, true. If you shuffle that it's around, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, think about it. Right, hemorrhoid nice. Prime. Oh, that, that sounds painful. Ugh. Division on sale for 25 bucks, yeah. Oh, World yeah. of Tanks, that's another good one that people forget about. That's free. It's a fun game. <laughs> Beard has, if anybody wants to buy me Rogue Legacy... Or hyper light drifter, I wouldn't say no. Yeah. It's both very two very good game good games. Speaking of sales, twelve days of deals on the Microsoft store, seventy five percent off Life is Strange. That's a great movie. Uh, great movie. <laughs> Final, <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy. It is. It's a great fucking movie. Final Fantasy fifteen. Um, well, I think it, I saw it go down to 40 bucks already, but it was like a one-day sale. I don't know what... I think it, now it's a 45. It's still a good deal. Uh, Skyrim Special Edition, $40.19. Titanfall 2 Deluxe Edition, 40 bucks. That's a really good deal. Uh, arcade Game Series, if you really want something cheap. Three-in-one pack, if you want to go retro. $3.20. There you go. And Mafia 3 Deluxe, $47.99. And Contrast, 5 bucks. Peter had, that's why I said it's a good movie. Peter had said, Life is Strange sucked. Yeah, it was a terrible game, but it's a great movie. But people just, people jerked off to that game so hard. I had so many friends that literally stopped talking to me. They're like, if you don't play this game, you're not a real gamer. I'm like, 
okay, I don't want to be the kind of gamer you're looking for. It's probably a lot better than to order 1876 or 1889 or whatever that crappy game was called. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Order 1886, is that what it, it is? Was, it was horrible. <laughs> mm-hmm. it was, that was a good movie, too, I hear. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. About as good as APB Reloaded. Duelist with a Y. That's one I've, I keep feeling about. I haven't still haven't played it that much in a while, actually. Um, that's a good one, yeah. But the yeah, graphics, the graf- really- graphics are pretty. That's about it. It was hard to tell when it was time to watch a cinematic and time to actually play the game. Yeah. Yep. And then the stealth was horrible because you stuck to the, like, I, I was doing the, uh, the maze level in that game, and you get stuck to a fountain, and then you end up headbutt a dude in the butt, and he turns around and he shoots you because you headbutted him in the butt, which I'd probably do the same thing. Duke Nukem Forever, oh my god, yeah. See, I enjoyed Duke Nukem Forever. When it opened up with a double blowjob scene, I was like, I'm in, let's go. Uh, I'm not even going to lie, I bought the collector's edition of that game. I mean, I knew what to expect. The game took 12 years to develop? Come on. People were like, oh, the graphics look dated. Yeah, it took 12 years to develop, you fuck. It took 12 years to sit on that game and wait on the money because they're just banking on the fact that it was a Duke Nukem name. Then they put it out. Like, yeah, here comes the money. Well, no, they had most of the game completed and it went into development hell because they couldn't mm-hmm. finish it. You know, because of the money. So they had to rebuild the game and try to use as much of the assets they already had. But they're not going to do it from the ground up. So they just did a patchwork job. And, you know, Gearbox did what they could with it. But they're not miracle workers. I mean, <laughs> anybody remember the Colonial Marines game? The Aliens game that we thought was going to be awesome? Why is it so hard to get a good Aliens game? I don't know. Doom did it just fine. The Doom mod, a- Aliens mod, was f- fantastic. Oh, are you talking about the Brutal Doom mod? Mm, well, even before Brutal Doom, Doom, uh, Doom two had Doom and Doom two had uh, Aliens mods. Huh? Yeah, and they were awesome. No, nah, I'll tell you, the old school Aliens in the arcade, where you had the light gun, that was ten times better than the ones they put out. Well, Aliens versus uh, Predators wasn't bad either. Oh, oh God, that was my game. That yeah. was my game. But I guess, you know, that's not a real alien. Like, to me, a real Aliens game should be a perfect blend of horror and tension and action. But it can't be completely horror. Because Alien Isolation, it was too much hide-and-go-seek. It was too much on the horror side. It was more of an alien game, not an Aliens game. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. But it, there it actually difference. worked because I'm glad they finally just said stop and they got back to what made Aliens the genre that it is instead of like just making another game simply just to make another game, which is what they've done a lot. Yeah. See, but they can make uh, they can make a game that's fun, but it's not just purely about... Because Alien Isolation, every time I've seen people playing it, it just looked like Outlast with an alien skin. It's like, mm. oh, hide and go seek. This alien is coming. Let me hide in this in this uh, cupboard and wait him out. Like that's that's the game. I mean, it looks good, but that's it. Nah, like it's too much focus on stuff. I like stealth games when that's not the only thing there is to it. Well, you I know, mean, let me see in, something more in to all it. fairness, it does. It's like a kind of self survival, <laughs> stealth survival, because they will. Um, let you craft items to try and uh, either distract the alien or you can craft a flamethrower to scare the alien away. Uh, there's even face huggers in it. I haven't finished an entire playthrough of it, but I've seen other people playing it. There's a level where you have to actually try and avoid face huggers, or else obviously you'll get your face pounced on. Alien teabag. Mm-hmm. The face huggers are the scariest because you're like, I don't want them putting the little worm in my throat. Ew. <laughs> okay, whatever, Robocock. <laughs> yeah, good one. Montage! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I do. But, uh, yeah, nobody needs to message him again, uh, War Child. He's having technical difficulties. But, yeah, other than that, I think Alien Isolation is a good game, but I think 
It's, not, it's definitely not a bad game, but you have to be in the mood for that. It's like Thief. Like, people shit all over Thief, but I went back to it, and I'm like, you know what? This game is actually really good. It's just you have to be in the mood for that kind of thing. Yeah. I'm trying to see the code again, nobody. Nobody. Because even Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell, the, the, the earlier Splinter Cells were kind of rough, but like the last one, like Chaos Theory, you know, Double Agent, they got it perfect because the stuff was still a focus, but if shit got real or you wanted to just go crazy, you could. You had options, you know? It I don't was like a lot things. Of, well, I was going to say the original ones with Michael Ironside in them were a lot better than the last one, in my opinion. Because they changed the voice actor. That's what killed it. Yeah, I don't really care too much about that, personally. Uh, if the gameplay is good, then, you know. True. I don't really care too much. I mean, voice acting is important. Like, bad voice acting voice acting can kill a game for sure. But if it's decent, I'm not. It's not going to be a big problem. I'm not really th- there that much for the narrative. This is more for the experience for me. Hmm. I give you that. <laughs> I, I I give you that. Do they do it? They have good good story, but I mean, you know, Tom Clancy story, you know, it's a, it's a summer blockbuster. It's Ironside, cool. Ironside made the game, in my opinion, though. Just like um, David Hayter made Solid Snake, and then they switched to Kiefer Sutherland. But Kiefer is awesome, man. He can interrogate I, you using the spoon. How does somebody? <laughs> okay, what is it, MacGyver? <laughs> so I, uh, I think that's all the deals for now. Yeah, yeah. But we do want to shout out everybody real quick. Uh, all our friends, on the All Games Radio Network, AllGames.com. Of course, Tangent Bound Network, BB Geeks, Nerdy Bartender, aka D. Stacy Roy. Uh, you know, all the wonderful folks out there, our friends over in Jinx or Shiny Prince or Rafflecopter, AM Audio Media, our friends, uh, you know, Casey Whalen and again, who just, uh, they wrapped up, uh, We're Alive Lockdown and they're working on, uh, We're Alive Gold Rush. Great radio drama you should definitely check out. Matt Bradford over at No Sleep Podcast will be doing a lot of the readings for them. Um, so if you want to hear spoken storytelling you know uh radio drama you know short stories good stuff horror montage podcast montage double montage (laughs) but uh yeah yeah lots of love to everybody out there appreciate all the support we got in for you you know we're coming close to the end of the year and we we know this we see you we see you out there how much time we got we got about a little over an hour right um yeah, yeah, we're right at about an hour right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it now. Oh man, yeah, it's time for a tiny bit after eleven and so. Okie dokie. This is all just build up for the rant. <laughs> oh yeah, the Obi on the podium. We still have to get to that. Oh man, so Obi, you might as well get out of the way. All right. But after the Obi on the podium, yeah, we'll if we have enough time. We'll have to get to it. All right, guys. Every now and then I have one of these <clears throat> one of these little things called an Obi on the Pody. The one thing that has been grinding my gears this whole fucking week is we went to Disney and myself and my mother-in-law, we literally got scooters. So we didn't have to walk as far. Like we, we, neither of us can really walk long distances. Knees back, you know, just, just fucked up. Well, the amount of people that were at that part, that at, at every park, and this is not just for me. This is for people in general, guys. If you're going to in Disney World, look down every once in a while. God damn it. There was not times where I would be be driving along at half speed, literally, like, slower than a walking pace, and people would just dart out in front of me. Mm. And just, and then I go, excuse me, please move, and I finally get pissed off and go, get the fuck out of the way. Of course, then my wife get bad, because I'm a dick now. 
And then at you got, Disneyland. Yeah, at Disneyland. <laughs> And and you got people that were that were just going and be like, I didn't even see you. Like, of course you didn't, because either your fucking face is in your phone because you don't know how to read a fucking map, so you gotta have an app for that. Or you're just too fucking stupid and you're not watching where you're going. Like, god damn it. Fucking move what look up. Look down. Look away from just something but your phone or your fucking your own selfish wants. Jerk one bastards. Robocox. Right? <laughs> but that that's it. I mean that right there is one of the <laughs> biggest things that I've just hit up this week. And it's not because I'm and yes, I'm ranting, yes, I'm going to. But it's it's not and it's not like I said, it's not just for me. There was people there that there were older people, yes, salt and not really salty. I'm not. I'm not salty about it anymore. I'm I'm back home now, so I don't have to deal with them freaking morons. But it's one of the things where I, I was talking just to, to elderly people that were in those chairs that because there were a bunch of different scooters, people in wheelchairs, you know, just because it's accessible. And everybody, like not just me, everybody was having issues. Like they were just people were not lick, looking where they're going. Like I literally ran into a guy and he told me this is I mean, I'm glad there was other guys there to kind of like look over and back me up a little bit. But. I actually literally ran into a guy, total accident. He walked out in front of me, and I couldn't. I don't have you don't have brakes on a scooter. And he told me, "All right, get up, motherfucker! I'm about to whoop your ass." What? So me being a fucking douchebag that I am, I got up. I got up, hobbled up. My back was really hurting that day. And he goes, "Oh, this is gonna be easy." And then three guys come up behind me and go, "No, it's not. You ain't gonna do shit to him." Like, I don't even know these guys. But it's just like I accidentally hit him, and I was kind of in a bad mood myself already. And I called it, I might have called him a dumbass or a fucking retard or something. I don't remember. But it was one of those things where, like, I'm kind of glad there was, I had backup because, like, he was ready to whoop my ass over an accident, really. And I, I think I said, watch where you're going, retard, or something like that. And he just basically stopped me, stood in front of my cart. It was it was kind of scary at one point, but then it was like I don't care if my back hurts. I'm gonna beat this dude's ass just straight up. <laughs> I'm gonna get up out this chair. I'm gonna hobble my crippled ass over there and beat his ass. I don't care if we're laying on the ground. My arms work. I can still choke somebody out. <laughs> and it's just that that right there, guys. For for real, you guys go to Disney World, Disneyland, wherever. Six Flags, whatever. Look out for oh, the God. people in the scooters, guys. Because any man with two hands has a fighting chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it, it was one of those things where it's just watch out for the scooter. Watch out for the people in, in chairs, power chairs, and even wheelchairs. Because, yes, they're lower to the ground. Like, dude, do you have no idea how many times I got crop dusted at fucking Disney? Like, <laughs> oh, I would, somebody man. would walk by me and then just bust ass, and it's right in. I mean, because I'm right there. <laughs> I'm sitting down in a scooter. So, like, mm. my face is, like, ass level. Mm. And it's just, like, I understand shit happening. You know, literally, shit happens. But it's it's just, uh, like, goddamn, <sighs> man. Look out for the little guys, dude. And I mean the guys in the scooters. Because, see, I had a rant that I was going to go off on, and I'm fucking not even where I don't even care anymore. So was there like flakes in the excrement or something? Because you're saying <laughs> that sounds kind of flaky. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, not right. But um, if you well, got flakes, you need to go see a doctor. It just there's no excuse for that. You know, scrub that skin off or whatever. Um, you know, and leave the people in wheelchairs alone. That's jacked up. It's your flaky ass. Well, it's just some of it I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't get. I just don't mm-hmm. because I mean, I, and I, I can say that I've done it the same too and not watch where I'm going for people in chairs, but now I understand like people are fucking douchebags and they don't care. Like they're not watching out for you. I mean, I like literally, and this is not something I'm bragging about, but I almost ran over little kids because their parents are just letting them just fucking hoop and how I guess it's Disney world. Mm-hmm. Definitely go do what you got to do. Do you do your thing? God damn. Look, you know how many people are there that if you let your kids just find me, you turn your head for one second, that kid is gone. Mm-hmm. 
Harambe. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say mm-hmm. fucking retarded parents, but that, that Harambe works good. Well, you probably would have been better off in the gorilla pen. And then uh, did you hear they had the nerve to build a um a monument to Harambe? <laughs> it's like this little gold statue with a little baby monkey on the back of it. Oh man, that's racist. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh man, I never knew. What Poor Harambe. Hey, I just found this out today. It just I gotta find a picture and send it to y'all. It's pretty ridiculous. I I now know. I I don't really associate myself with racism. I well, Poor Harambe. <laughs> I'm racist as shit. I hate everybody. Mm-hmm, or I'm mm-hmm, not racist mm-hmm. at all. I'd hate everybody. I don't know. I think I get you. Mm-hmm. Do you really? Yeah. Do you really get me? Didn't we connect on Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers? And then like four others? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Montage! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Ah. <sighs> So, hey, uh, we, we got two Christmas segments that we'll hopefully get to, but I want to just mention some anime real quick, and then, and then we'll just get into the Christmas stuff and end on that. But uh, War Child, mm-hmm. do you enjoy the harem or etchy genres of anime? <laughs> um, Sorry. The harem ones are more funnier, like Tenchi, because you've got all that conflict going on. And uh, there's one I watched before called Vampire X uh, Rosary, I believe it is. That oh yeah, yeah. Well, you get more. Yeah, the harem, the harem don't have to be funny. They tend to be. What I like about it is you have a a bigger cast. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's not a sausage fest, so that's cool. And you can kind of care about the entire cast because they don't make it; they don't leave anybody behind. They include yeah. everybody. Yeah, and that's the thing cool. is interesting. A lot of times, you do have some really good plots in there, mm-hmm. but uh, the bad part is sometimes when you have so many great characters, they can't possibly end it the way you'd want to. It's a, <laughs> right. it's a bigger <laughs> cast. <laughs> Giggity. I mean, it is nice having the, the you know ten to one woman to man ratio, and that's being generous. Um, but you know, I I like the genre. It's it's fun. A lot of times, you know, it doesn't take yourself too seriously. You also get some quality plots in there. A good one, a good example of quality plots is like uh, Campion. Campion's a, a good one. Have you seen mm. that? Mm-mm. I would regard uh, Re Zero. I would consider that harem, even though they don't categorize it that. I, I feel like it's a harem because, like, it's all women and then the one dude. But I guess it doesn't fall into the harem tropes. But you know, loosely defining it, I guess it's just got its toes dipped into it, and that's about it. You know, you know, Re Zero. Mm, I'm a little behind. The last thing I've been watching is like old school Go Go 13. Oh man! All right, well I'm gonna make some recommendations. If you want to dip into the genre, folks, Demon King Dai Mao is 12 episodes. That one's a good blend of plot and humor, and there's no nudity. So you know, if you're a, a tight ass, you're a prude, then you're good. You know, <sighs> who wants to watch that? I know. Now, if you want more, more of the full-on harem, you got High School DxD, and they got a few uh, seasons of that, and that's full-on nudity <laughs> and fan service. It's unapologetic. Um, Bezo Bub is hilarious. That's a great one. Um, though, what I, one thing I do find with the harem ones is that they start off really strong, and you get invested in the characters right off the bat. And then you stick with it, but then, like, the way they almost always end kind of meh. Um, and I kind of felt that way with Demon King Dai Mao and, Be- and Beezlebub. But Beezlebub is a hilarious one. You got to check it out. It's worth going on for the ride. Um, and then as long as you're not freaked out by a naked baby who's showing off his little baby pee-pee, 
all the time, and then you'll be cool. <laughs> like, there's a lot of micro penis in this one. I don't care. Um, and then ReZero, which is not really harem. Most people will say it's not, but it's got a huge cast of women and then, like one dude. So I don't know. That sounds like harem to me. Um, definitely not etchy though. But there's a little bit of fan service in here in that in that regards. But this is like this story is really heavy. This is a little more bordering the the tone of like a death note. So if you want that like damn cool. like yeah, yeah, if you want that heavy story, check that out. Though you might I don't know. Don't blame me if it's depressed afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, BFT recommends Everyday Life with Monster Girls was a guilty pleasure. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah, like, you know, that's the thing. The, the, the harem ones, they just do some of the most goofy things. And sometimes you get surprised they actually have a plot in there and not just TNA. So School Rumble is another one I like. It's all about love triangles and... You know, and I think I also like the genre because a lot of times they they go back to like those young years, so like it's like oh, I feel young again. I remember that uh, elementary school, high school antics. Yeah, you know, mm. it's it's nice to feel young sometimes and, and and like get out of your own skin. You know what I mean? Just well, what's a good hate. samurai one? Well, a good samurai one, of course, Ninja yeah. Scroll. I would say yeah. if you like that kind of thing. Uh, you talking about the uh, the movie or the series? The original? Oh, you mean you want series? Yeah, because you said the movie uh, was yeah. awesome. Yeah, a good know. samurai one? How about uh? It's not really samurai, but it's got some samurais in it. Uh, High School of the Dead. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I forgot about that one. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Okay. All right. All right. I'm trying to think. Like you just watch sword play. Um, Jimanta, Art, I, I guess in a that, sense, Sword Art Online, Samurai yeah. X. Yeah, I'll check that out. Samurai X is a oh good, uh, that one. That was the Rune one I didn't to look at. Thank you. I looked that up. Uh, if you want like the more f- funny classic anime feel, Jimanta is good. That's what it's called, Jinanta or Jimanta. Jumanji. You can't tell me that. Yeah, sure. Okay. So it's sort of a G. G I N M A N T A, something like that. Gumanji? Gene Manta. Um, what else has good sword play in it? Like, yeah, I'm drawing blanks, but uh, that's like its own little sub genre as well. Like, there's like, I mean, when you go into that, like, you have the historical ones that talk about, like, you know, the feudal Japan and all the different emperors and that's a whole thing and then there's the ones that are more fantasy and oh man that's good times too a lot of quality anime out there this is why i try to like take breaks from anime because if not it's like you don't want to stop it's like a pringle you, you can't just have one <laughs> but those are my recommendations right now but we're gonna have a little quick side thing here before we get into the full-on christmas talk i'm going to talk about Christmas video games and Christmas video game and events. But if we're talking about that, I wanted to know if you guys have any Christmas foods or, or foods that you just enjoy either only in Christmas or particularly in Christmas. Um, talking about food. I love food. Yeah. Food. We just... be drinks too. Food and drink. Funny thing is, we just got done eating like my brother-in-law made like these fish tacos, shrimp tacos, chimichangas. I know it's not very Christmas, but man, it was good. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. I mean, I mean, if that's something you only have during Christmas, then it counts. Well, this is actually my second Christmas with the Weiss family. But man, he threw down. I'm talking about I. I got stupid full. Like, if I ever, <laughs> if I drank, that's probably how me being drunk would be. Mm. Just like, now, to, to get out my, let me sleep, get out my face, get out my, let me sleep now. Thank you. Take that nice Ida snap. You're just like, mm-hmm. don't mind me. I'm just a security guard, just being paid to look pretty here. I just took another bite out of that chimichanga. It was like, down goes Frasia, down. 
you get cut off, so I had to say it. Like I said, I heard something Frasier. And then Down silence. goes Frasia. Sorry. <laughs> and then it was microphone silent. for the win. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's trolling you for real, man. I know, right? <laughs> 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 Lack of excitement. He <laughs> said <a> montage. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> montage. Like Eeyore off of Winnie the Pooh. All right, bear. It's like I guess it's a montage. Fuck you, Eeyore is always depressed. My sticks. These kids don't realize that I was emo before they knew what emo was. But nobody <laughs> cares. Not like anybody cares anyway. <laughs> I liked cutting myself before it was cool. <laughs> oh, too soon? Sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it just got really heavy all of a sudden. And that's how Jamaican food was born. <laughs> oh, <it does! laughs> I was going to say that shit, too. Ah, I got it. <laughs> I felt the wind up, and I was like, nope, I'm going to take that one. <laughs> That must be the new I, Britney Spears. Yeah. I just uh, I just saw what Bebe, what's in a BB Rexa looks like because I'm not really up with the latest music. And she's she's cute. Like she got a body on her. I thought she's. Then you look at her and of be Bebe's kids. Probably no one. The older folks are like, who are you talking about? I don't even know who she is until I, I find out who she was. Baby. I'm like, man, she got a booty in her. I remember that. She got a cartoon. bit of a Baby's kids. Butterface. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Baby's kids. Oh, I don't know about it. Anyway. Yeah. That's old school. Hey, before your time, son, don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Mm-hmm. Wait. So no no foods? No foods that uh you, uh, you like to have particularly during Christmas that you look forward to? You got to have cookies. Chocolate chip, to be exact. Okay. You like them fresh out of the oven, or you like them to cool down? You know, fresh out of the oven ain't bad, but when you get that, it's a it's a um texture that the stores can't reproduce, you know, when it's, like, been sitting for a minute, and it's crispy, yet it's got, like, that cookie, that fresh cookie taste, and it's not, like, yeah. too chewy, but it's just right. It crumbles, and it's kind of... It's hind- hard to describe, but I know stores can never reproduce it. It's kind of like exactly. crunchy on the outside, but ooey gooey on the inside. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. That's the that's the way. Yep, yep. That's yep. the best cookies. I hate when people say, "Oh, you gotta let them sit for like an hour." No, fuck that. For an hour. Like, tw- yeah. My wife said that she cooks a few racks of cookies. She bakes a few racks of cookies, and she's like, "No, don't eat them yet. They just came out of the oven." That's the best time. <laughs> Maybe I wait ten minutes, but. I mean, <laughs> He said, rack and wife. <laughs> <laughs> rack. <laughs> you know, today, she, she lost her lighter. And I, I said, I, just use mine. And I said, no, but I lost my lighter. I'm like, oh, my God. We got tons of lighters around the house. And she's like, I, I put them between my boobs. And then I don't know where they went. It's like, what is there? There's lots of boob. So there's somewhere there probably. <laughs> she got mad at me. I'm like, I'm complimenting your bus size. You know, always talking about how you don't think your boobs are big what enough. What the fuck Jeez, is wrong I, with you? So wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Seriously, what is let wrong me, with you right now, Yogi? <laughs> she'll get she'll get mad at you for saying that, but yet when somebody else compliments, oh, well, thank you. That's that's quite nice. Like, no, that don't. That's not that's not cool. Wow. Yeah, that's married life, yo. That's married life. It's like if they, well, you you gotta say nice things. Cause we're married. Like what? Does that does that values what I say? Get out of here. I'm, I'm tempted to ask wife, child. Mm, mm-hmm. About her opinion on the thing. I do. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear this shit. Should I pull the wife? Yes, sure. you should. Okay. In the meantime, tight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share while you while you pull her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. share some quick favorites, mine, since you guys, since you guys <laughs> don't have <laughs> any. <laughs> yeah. While you pull, pull her, her, I'm gonna pull something here too. Lord, yeah. hang on. Let me, let, let me ask her, and then I'll put her on if she's got an answer. Wink, All right. Wink, 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 All right. Wink, wink. Shut up, Obi. Now, you guys know I love the coquito, which is uh, Puerto Rican eggnog. Oh. The trick with that is it's very similar to how you make eggnog, 
but use less egg yolks because a lot of people put way too many egg yolks in their thing. And we use uh, coconut cream and or coconut milk in there. You know, that's the that's secret. Don't use that many egg yolks. It's crazy. Same thing with the flan. I love flan. Flan might be my, one of my favorite things ever, especially when it comes to sweets. And, and a lot of the recipes I'm looking, they ask, they call for like eight to 10 egg yolks. I'm like, are you crazy? I use like four tops in my flan. Um, you put some, what happened? You got to answer. The wife, is, the wife has been pulled. Hang on. Hold oh, tight. Oh, <laughs> hey guys. Hi, wife child. How you guys doing? We're pretty good. We're, we're talking to, about you need to bust his ass. We're talking, Why? About, Christmas, we're just, talking about Christmas foods, just to but do somehow just to, to, just to do it. I didn't need just be running around just banging people up, huh? No, no, yeah, not people. Do just war child. That's it. No, 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 don't do it. <laughs> Obi gives bad advice. Don't do it. No, see, if I do it, he'll think it's some kind of kinky thing we're doing. He won't even get that you guys. Mm. I, okay, I, won't lie. I like it when it gets you. rough. What? <laughs> Okay, okay, then go on then. Get it kinky I'm then. Just, I'm just saying. Like, oh, you slap me? Oh, baby, baby. You know I damn. like when you get like that. Slap that ass right here. Slap it. Slap it. Hey, listen, slap you it, never bitch. know what slap people it. are into oh, until you yeah. try it. Some, sometimes you gotta try crazy things and you find out people like that stuff. You never know. You know what? Next time That's you That's why I say just cut the time, conversation out. Next time, Don't you, guys, have to next time you guys go and, uh, you know, your, your married thing. Stick a finger in his butt. See what he likes. <laughs> I wasn't even going to say all that. I, was, I man, said I was it. I'll say, say it. I don't, don't care. Even, don't even have small talk when you meet people. Just slap <laughs> them in the face to see how they react. Stick now right they'd be his, like, oh, just, baby. Just stick like, it right oh, in his butt. No. You, you should see right him. He bum, really wants to happens. know what we're talking I don't. I don't know, guys. That's a lot. <laughs> he can. He can listen to the show after. His, after we we. That's a lot. That's a else. lot. I now know what you're into, though. But that's okay. No, that's just listen, nasty you can, as fuck. You gotta leave. You gotta live your life. I, I listen. I'm not here to judge you. Okay. I'm just here to get pulled. <laughs> I'm. I'm not here to come in and psychoanalyze your life, especially your sex life. Okay. Don't make me. Don't make me. Don't. <laughs> Look, everybody secretly wants to be a, mup, uh, a puppet, you know, a finger in the butt. It's like, hey, I'm pretending to be a puppet. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving here later. This is, this is too much for me. Uh, listen, this is, this is a lot for me, too. I'm... Hey, you're okay, okay, so what, things, what, am I, what am I getting pulled on? What... Oh, the question was, are there, in general, are there any kind of compliments that have less weight when they come from your significant other versus a stranger for example when i compliment how wonderful my wife's bosom is okay well yeah i mean that would be that would be kind of weird coming from a stranger but that's uh, perfect no, no, fine no, hold on. tell her the whole fucking story before you start doing that because you, okay, like you said the, the, wrong. the whole story was you know we have a thing where we're always losing lighters Okay. And she said, "Oh, I, 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 I had my lighter between my boobs. Now I can't find it. So I just told her lovingly and jokingly. I said, "Oh, it's probably somewhere in there. You have lots of boob space to work with. You know, because you have a nice rack." And she got mad. Yeah. Well, not mad, mad, See, but that's like, not what you said the first time. The first time you said, "Well, there's enough in there. You should be able to." <laughs> like, now nah, you gotta say it the way you said it first time, man. Well, say, say it the way I say it the way you said it. Come on. You can give me the real that, deal. I'm, I'm calling you. you out, homie. That is the way. I, I, I'm not quoting how I said it for <laughs> That is it's the, the same, way I said it. I said, yeah, it's the same, <laughs> same <laughs> spirit of my message. <laughs> the way I said it. Then it came okay, you know what? You know what? Speak. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, tell me how he said it. Don't. He, he's lying over here. So tell me mm, how he really said it. I don't remember. Okay, you are pointless and useless to me right now. <gasps> I thought I thought you had so much to give me. And then you came to me empty handed. Oh, I'm just saying oh, I, I complimented cool how first got here. big her boobs were. <laughs> I know it just got real. That's how I felt when you gave me zero. It just mm. got real up in this month. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell no. Okay. It's okay. Wait, so wait, wait, were you saying, were you saying that you keep a lot of things in? 
your in her bra like she keeps a lot of things in her bra and that's why she got offended no no or no, no, was no. It just I'm, that she I'm, has I'm, a big boobs. i was assuming that she has nice big boobs so like lots of boobs and the, 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 that's why the light is lost in there because there's somewhere in there but the light is somewhere in there but it's you know it's just to sift through her boobs <laughs> that's like, what i was it's saying like, it's like a black hole once it goes inside like there's no yeah. telling if you can get it out <laughs> I mean, I told her, I mean, Jimmy Hoffa might be hiding somewhere in there. We don't know. They can't find his body. He's probably yeah. in there somewhere. Stop it. Stop Damn. it. Now, and see, and this is where you went wrong. Okay? And now she's hiding you. bodies? I told you. <laughs> He's like, it's enough. It's, he goes, it's enough of it there. You should have, You should find it somewhere in there. Like, God damn it. You don't do that. Like, but I've also that's, followed I mean, it up. Know, that's, not, that's not worth getting upset. Or I wouldn't get upset. Even if you were That's like, it. even if you're like, hell, let me help you pick up the left one. You pick up the right one, and we'll check both of them. Stop it! Get out <laughs> of my life. Now, you would it make a difference? The left one. What, what are these bricks? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Are these thirty-pound sacks on your chest? <laughs> <laughs> these big old sandbags you got over here. Damn. What? You know. <laughs> You pick up the left while I work on the right. Exactly. Like you, you want to be loving and help you help. I want to love you and help you out, baby. That's it. That's Just all like, it get was. Get a pickaxe. Be like, I'm ah. Like, well, well now my reaction real, to that was like, well, bro. why can't you just pick them both up? I don't understand. Yeah, just just put a couple put your face in them and see if you can find a lighter. It's a we'll team just figure effort. It out. It's a team right. effort here. Teamwork makes the dream work. See, well, does it? Would it make a difference if after I said that, I followed up quickly by saying, I love your boobs, and then went honk honk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just fucked yeah, up. You know, if you could have just. Would that make it better or worse? You just fucked up. Hypothetically right there. worse. Definitely, definitely worse. I like hypothetically, as if you didn't do this. The honking is a lot. Is a lot. Man. But if but you I do it lovely. You, right. It's I me letting you. you know. I love your boobs. Your boobs are the only ones for my for me. Honk, honk, honk. Listen, I'll, I'll tell on. you this. I'll tell you this. Shut the fuck out of here. Obviously, even if you have a very strange sense of humor and you're honking at her boobs, like they're <laughs> they're little like what are those little things that make that noise? It makes me think of a clown or something. <laughs> a bicycle horn, man. <laughs> uh, a, bi a bicycle Beep. horn. You know, <laughs> oh, see that that sounds like little sad titties, you'll, like you'll, you know. Okay, yeah, okay. Like, you got the, the you know, like little boobs, not not like losing body boobs. You got you know? the severity. I need the, I need the honk to be like deeper and bigger. You know, right? <laughs> like a fucking train horn, like, but like you get the like way the with maybe you go you go from like a cup where it's me, me, you know, like the Woody Wood, like the you know the Road Runner, right? And then you got the to the double triple. You know, D's where it's, you know, you got the train horn or the boat horn. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, listen, OB. What? The, 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 the A cups are more like this. Uh, okay, you're just trying to use. Oh, come on. We, we, we love. <laughs> listen, we like with the girls, you know, the girls with the A cups, that's just their life, you know? Somebody, listen, I actually, as, as a woman with big boobs, I, I feel as though mm. women with small A cups actually end up faring better in the end because when they're like 50, they're still going to be pretty perky. Yeah. You get my, a, my you husband, get a, by the time I'm 50, he's going to be a just C plus. Up, you're you right? you're going to be beating your hell out of your titties with your knees and shit. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna try to, you're gonna try to run, and then some bitches are gonna fling up and punch you right in the face. Well, you know, listen, I've accepted that life, okay, and my husband has also accepted that that will be his life in a few years. So as long as he just keeps buying me nice and tight bras, we'll be all right. Push ups. Well, I'll just, I'll, you know, yeah, just nice, some nice push ups, you know, but not, but not really. Because once you get to like a double D, you you just need you just need something to hold it. There's you no don't need anything to add anything. Up. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't need. The bitches well, are know, like twenty them, pounds a piece. Push yeah, that up, motherfucker. Some of them have padding, so it's like, why would you turn like a double D into like a like a an F? Like well, you know, that's unnecessary at that point. What what am I, mm -hmm. Dolly Parton? Like what what mm -hmm. is this? You know, it's just getting outrageous. It's getting outrageous. It's like, are you looking at boobs or a body? Like what's what's happening? 
Oh, uh, Dolly Parton. She's just she she her boobs actually make up fifty percent of the Rocky Mountains. So that's why. <laughs> Well, you she know, on a, do that. That's responsibility. And on a sad note, you know, Dolly Parton has that um that amusement. I don't know if it's really like an amusement park or what it is that's in Gatlinburg. You know, Gatlinburg like burned down. A lot of Gatlinburg burned down. Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard about that, but it happened. On a on a on a light note though. Yeah, okay. Thanks for bringing us back up. <laughs> Hard Candy Christmas is one of my favorite Christmas songs. I'm just gonna throw that out there. No I one knows that song. I about to say I don't know that song. Yeah, nobody knows it. That makes me sad. Nobody when I get off of here, I'm gonna go listen to you. It actually. See, I, I love Christmas music. I'm not one of those grouches like ah, they play Christmas music everywhere. It's making me mad. Man, man, man. It's like it makes me happy. And that's well, not my favorite yeah, song. Christmas music makes most people happy. People, listen. You, you know, I don't know. I'm I like listening to Christmas music like right after the day after Thanksgiving. I can start. Listening. No problem. Yeah. No yeah, problem. Definitely. All right. So we asked. We asked your hubby this. But what's okay, I'm I'm getting paper? kicked off, Everett. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. No, no, right. no, 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 no. We got one more question for you before you leave. Okay. All right. I'm ready. But do you need what's to ask him something favorite, first? One of your favorite Christmas foods. My favorite Christmas food. Or some of your favorite foods or dang, drinks. To have. Dang. Dang. Like I was, I was talking about the rice pudding for me. I'm Puerto Rican, so we have arroz con dulce, and then we have flan. And tres leche, which is a three milk cake. Uh -huh, yeah, delicious. yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty eggnog, good. coquito. You know, coquito. Right. I was, I was about to say, I, I like eggnog. Um, I don't know what are Christmas foods. I feel like they're basically the same as Thanksgiving foods. Yeah, that's a, so. It's a personal thing. Like, what do you enjoy? Like, what's something special you save for the holidays? Well, I like, I like turkey and dressing. Some people don't like to repeat mm. Thanksgiving food at Christmas, but I only have turkey and dressing at Thanksgiving and Christmas. So that's my favorite food. I don't know how Christmassy it is because most people would associate it with Thanksgiving, but mm. those are my favorites. What kind of dressing? What do you consider dressing? Stuffing. Like, oh, oh, dressing, not stuffing. Stuffing, I don't know. That stu stuffing is for that don't know how to cook. I don't know what that is. But dressing when you have like cornbread and you like bake cornbread and then you break it up. You have to like break it all up mm. in your hands and then you know you have like broth and you know all that other mm. stuff. I don't know about that boxed crap. I, I mean Yogi's you know you pick that up right and now. you just talking. It's like say it's you're funny. at somebody's house or you're at an outing and you just have that look on your face like I'm gonna eat two more bites of this just to be polite and it's going straight to the trash can. Oh, I know real life. Yeah. So don't bring stuffing up in my house because I will kick you right back out. <laughs> you guys have dressing. been forewarned. Dressing. Bring me some dressing, some good old southern dressing. All right. Mm, like some uh, some uh, biscuits and country gravy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm drooling a little bit right now. I have to wipe it off. You get that together while I pass the, these headphones on over to my husband. Hold on, War Child's coming right back on for you. Give me a second. You can stay. All right, well, you don't you be a stranger now. We're crazy, but we're, we're we're good people to hang out with. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. He doesn't need to come back. I'm telling you, said oh, to be a stranger. Oh damn! Ah! <laughs> she said you're stuck with it now. Yeah. <sighs> oh, you and, and, and thank you for the birthday <laughs> shout out on the the first of. The that Ooh, pizza that does sound good i think we might uh, order a pizza like we're gonna be doing a lot of cooking you know matter of fact tomorrow my pizza be a pizza day now that i think about it mm. <laughs> this... I, was... I forgot the uh huh. brown sugar ham where they got the glaze on the yeah. outside and they got the brown yeah. sugar on it mm -hmm. well, that's, that's good. i like it Mm. Now, if you ever want to attempt rice pudding, which is one of, another one of my favorite desserts, the biggest thing about it is the cloves are pretty expensive. So if you want to get them on the cheap, you can try to go to like an international food store, like an Indian grocery or uh, you know, a Hispanic, Hispanic or... restaurant, bodega. Yeah, you know, something, some place that that has a lot of like international foods. You know, variety because it might be more common there. Um, you know, and of course, you know, it depends where you are. Like in the Florida, like if you're in by Miami, chances are everyone has like the more 
ethnic foods, for lack of a better phrase. <laughs> it depends on the Walmart you go to. They're like, ethnic. I went to a Walmart one day. They put the uh, Japanese candy in the Latino section. Oh, I was God, offended. Yeah. yeah. I'm a black Our Walmart's pretty <laughs> good. Like, the Asian food section is pretty legit. The Hispanic food section, not so much, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good, but like it can use a little more work. But then, like the Asian food section, they got a lot of stuff in there. I'm surprised. I mean, they got the wasabi peas and pocky, so they're covering the bases there. <laughs> Poison sauce is another good one. But anyway, if you want to make the uh, rice pudding, you know, you need sweetened condensed milk, coconut milk, evaporated <laughs> milk, cinnamon sticks, ginger, of course, rice. And some people put raisin there. I like raisin in there. It's really tasty. I love it. Mm. <laughs> is she commenting in the background of the show? She's talking about she's gonna knock somebody out with her boob. Oh damn! No, she's gonna, knock, what I she's heard. gonna knock herself out with her boob. If she ain't careful. She's gonna be running and hit nice. herself in the eye. And Obi was happened? talking about My playing boob. puppet with people. When you go back and listen to the show, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Obi, why are you so quiet right now? What's going on, man? Oh shit. I'm fucking talking, man. I'm just muted. <laughs> no, I, oh, I said, I said she she ain't talking about knocking somebody out. I told her about she gonna be that she like when I get old. I was like, when you get old, you gonna be trying to run and you gonna your knee gonna hit your titty and knock out, knock your ass out, <laughs> like right in the eye. Baby, what Seen happened? I beat myself with my titty. Seen it done once. Not have pretty. You, have you really? That's funny. <laughs> it's probably on YouTube. That's I fair. bet you if your boobs, if you have enough sag in the boobs, you could play like, instead of playing the spoons, you could play the boobs, you know, on your knees and stuff. But it, wow. That'd be pretty cool. Wow. Dude, I'd be so entertained. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just saying, like, if if I was a woman and my choice were like no boobs or huge boobs, I'd be like huge boobs all the way. I mean, my back will hurt all the time. I get it. But... The amount of things I could do to keep myself entertained, it's just hours and hours of fun. I mean, like, like compare that the feeling of just squeezing some Play-Doh in your hands, some putty in your hands, but then you have, like, ten times that to work with. I'm in. Let's go. That's, that sounds like some cancer breast, man. It's just, like, <laughs> the sickly titties. It's not right. <laughs> Sickly titties. That sounds like a good screen name, like a good gamer tag. Sickly titties. <laughs> Someone is gonna take. <laughs> Sickly welcome. titties. Someone's flanking you. Watch out. He's coming from the right. Sickly titties. Man, watch your flank, son. Montage. Montage. Wow. I, I can't. I don't even know what to say right there. <laughs> that wasn't even a montage thing. Sickly it was titties just... has died. <laughs> wow. I, 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 I just... Just... <laughs> <laughs> it's a montage. <laughs> oh, man. So good. Oh, my God. But, folks, uh, I know we're running out of time here. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about some of the video game events that are going on right now. I know we're talking about some... Christmas video games. We talk about this every year. It's kind of our thing. The first in-game events that are Christmas themed or loosely Christmas. Uh, Gems of War. They have their winter event right now this week. I think next week they'll probably do another one. Um, that's one uh, you earn right now. It's uh, what is it? Enemy. Novi Enemy, I think it's called. Which is not a very good name for a winter event. But you get like extra trait stones for crafting when you battle with the snowman on your team. So that's oh, pretty cool. uh, I did. Speaking of winter events, um, it's not really part of a game, but if you have some Microsoft points on Bing or you used them or something happened, basically check your emails because they have just refunded a bunch of points as an apology for something that happened because I got 500 a day. So you might want to check it out if you have a Bing account. Oh, nice. And I, I do a lot of the big reward stuff. I get a shit ton of gift mm. cards to that. It's worth it. Isn't uh, Heroes of the Storm having a winter event too? Yeah, they're doing the Winter Solstice, I think it's called. And then they're still doing the the Nexus Challenge, which we mm. need to get on that. We need to get on yeah. that. 
We know we um, can't rely on, on Oolong, so it's to be me and you. Wow. Mm. And hopefully he'll eventually show up. <laughs> DLC tassels for 99 cents. <laughs> Titty Slapper VR. That's our next project. Titty Slapper <laughs> VR. <laughs> uh, Elder School Online. They have the new Life Festival. And I think it's going through January. Where uh, you can earn new skins and uh, ge- different costumes, and what what they do is they have a, a different adventure, different quest path you could take for each race, and they have like different weird events you could do, like uh, uh, something about a slappy titty race, or I don't know, some weird shit, <laughs> like a I festive dance off, and yeah, it's weird stuff. Yeah, so check it out. Uh, Hitman has the free content update, uh, Holiday Hoarders. We get to be dressed up as Santa and kill little kids. So that's always fun. Good, wholesome oh, family fun. Halo 5 is having an event <laughs> where you can, uh, if you play, you can get a, uh, I think a Santa Spartan. The do- you're talking uh, about the dawning? No, no, Halo 5. Halo 5. Oh, Halo 5. Oh, I thought Yeah, I mean, the- uh, the dawning, Pff, yeah. And Halo 5, what do you get in Halo 5? I think you get a Santa Spartan helmet and uh, a candy cane, um, av- not an avatar, what do you call it? The uh, the logo. I need to get on Halo 5, man. I really want to play that game. It's just, I can't prime myself away from Siege. <laughs> I need to get better at it again. I'm, Halo used to be my jam, but I switched over to a couple of other games and, well, kind of fell off. But I got, I, I have Halo 5, I just need to play it. Like Overwatch is that one of the games? Cause they're having a winter event. Yeah, that's true. They are having a winter. I think heck, if any anything Blizzard is having a winter event, then that means Hearthstone is probably having a winter event too. Blizzard probably does winter events. They do the the seasonal stuff the best, I think, out of most of the companies. Yeah, I wonder and if GTA Five's be... got a winter event because they have a uh, new content coming out. If they do, they haven't made a big thing about it. I mean. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare 4 Remastered are doing holiday stuff. They're doing a... The Modern, War, Modern Warfare 4 Remastered actually looks cool because they took the old maps and they gave them, like, the Christmas work uh, makeover. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Almost makes me want to play it. That'd be kind of cool if Titanfall 2 had a Christmas content. We could get, like, a, I don't know, Santa Claus mech with a giant... Axe candy cane or something. Oh, I don't know. that'd be so good. I'm pulling it out. Yeah, they don't they don't have it though. Smite does. Smite has uh Fenrir's Winter Wonderland. Smite's also really good. Uh High Red Studios. Shout out to our local Georgia studio. What up? <laughs> <laughs> They're really good with doing the seasonal stuff. It's another game we need to play. Give some more love to our and I mean, I, you load up Smite, and then the first thing you see is the Georgia Peach. It's like, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Second that, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Yo. Go has a Pikachu with a Santa hat, and that's yeah. it. Aww. Yeah, no okay. so, That's so painful. They, they weren't the same until... Uh, you know, if they would have just gotten it right the first time and not applied so many updates, I'd probably still do it with my broken GPS GPS and everything. But since they messed it up with all these updates, I care less. It's not what it used to be. I hate saying that because it was kind of fun. Yeah, it's it's hard to keep that kind of thing going. I mean, I liked uh, Ingress, but it wasn't enough to keep me engaged with it. Mm. Since you bring up the donning, um, I will say this much. It seems kind of pointless. I mean, you, you go around, you open up these little boxes in front of these three big boxes, and at the end of the day, the little boxes in front of the big boxes don't really matter because they just give you typical um, resources like your spin metal or your uh, your strange coins or worm spore. But you have to unlock certain achievements in the game in order to open up the bigger box in the back. So wait, the uh, strange coins you still use for Zer, don't you? Yeah, but it's okay. I mean you can get those easily. It's just you have to get like a a Saladin tag, you gotta get a Zer tag, and you gotta get in order to even open up the big boxes in the back. 
So, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of cool, not especially since they had this whole um, microtransaction issues going on with the uh, festival of the was it the festival of the lost or whatever, the Halloween one. Because it felt like in order to even get anything in that game, you had to go and and purchase a bunch of uh, of micro or in, a bunch of stuff through microtransactions, which kind of killed the game. Yeah, that. Don't get me started. But it. Yogi's rants. Yeah, I, I love Destiny, but I refuse to go back to it. It's like no, I just can't stand by what Bungie has done. There's just too many great games to play. We listed some of them. Um, better, better on PlayStation Four. Man. Exclusive content. Man. Plus, I know more it's people on PS Four. It's timed content. That's part of the problem I have with it. Yeah. But... Hey, thanks, Xbox gamers. You put us on the map. We were nobodies. We're gonna support PS Four now. Fuck you. I know, right? I think that also has something to do with the fact that they didn't want to make an RTS game. But they basically said, well, you're going to make it anyway, kid. So. <laughs> you're going to do what your pappy tells you. Mm-mm-mm. I know. Uh, I also find it funny. They're like, we're going to, you know, we're done with Halo. We're happy with what we're done with it. We're going to make a new game. Then Bungie comes out. We made another Halo, but we call it Destiny. Actually, Destiny's been in the works for the longest because if you go back and play Halo ODST, there is a um, there were posters in there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they no, changed. I know. Them. But it's just it's the funniest thing. Like we're not we're making something different. It's Halo. I don't care what the fans say. It's, it's got so much Halo flavor in there. Pretty much. But uh. But anyway, don't get me started, that man. We gonna let it go. Um, best Christmas games. Yeah, they end on this. I mentioned a few of them. We think Christmas. What are some games that come to mind? <clears throat> Just throw out some. No, I nothing. I can't, I can't really think of. Say the truth. Yeah, I mean, All we right. were playing uh, taboo, like basic games. All right, that works. So, you know, that's a social thing. You get, you do, you, you uh, have a little dinner party, whatever, and then you play some, yeah, some little social game. That's good. I'm talking about video games, though. Oh, you get it to board well, games. You didn't, you you didn't specify, man. It's I know. I, I, I'll jog your memory. Christmas Lemmings, Jazz, Jack Rabbit, Holiday Here. I never remember that. Animal Crossings, New Leaf. Yeah. That, you got Animal Crossing go through the seasons and the holidays. Christmas Nights. Nights into dreams, you know, the little flying dude with the, the look like a jester. Uh, Duke Nukem, Nuclear Winter. No? That game was bad though, wasn't it? No, this was the one that was built on the Duke 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 3D uh, engine. Oh, okay, yeah, anything on Duke 3D is pretty much good. Yeah, yeah, this is this is old school. On the Dreamcast, Pen Pen Triasalon. Nobody. Yeah, I'm trying to remember Christmas games. It just I'm I'm getting nothing. I'm not. I'm. I'm yeah, it's hard to think about it. We've been we been we were wrestling with it. Me and Obi have been wrestling for with this for years. Not really much out there, and then the few ones you find are bad. I mean, closest I can get is like making Santa Claus in WWE. That's mm-hmm. better. Yeah. How about Shenmue? Shenmue Shenmue was took place during Christmas, around Christmas time. So it's not a Christmas game, but it's, it takes, you know, it's got the Christmas spirit in there. Somewhere. Uh, yeah. yeah. Somewhere. Sna- Snatcher by, uh, you know, Hideo Kojima's uh, second game, you know, after Metal Gear Solid, after Metal Gear, rather. Uh, That that took place during Christmas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Elf <laughs> Bowling, people don't remember that one. Bless you. Uh, that was on the PC in 1998. Elf Bowling, that was a weird game. Salut. There were a, a few Commodore 64 Christmas games. Uh, Santa's e- Xmas Caper, Frosty the Snowman, some other ones. Days Before Christmas on the Super Nintendo, that came out in 93. 
An Atari 800 XL special delivery. That's a 1984 jam. That shit. Yeah. It's like you uh, name all these games and I can't. Oh, uh, didn't they have an arcade Die Hard game that? No, that wasn't. Dude, that wasn't. Dude, Christmas. I was just gonna say that. That technically isn't a Christmas game, but I'm like, well, Die Hard movies usually take place in Christmas. Yeah, so yeah. that's Die account. Hard, dude. No, no, listen up. Die Hard. Now, I was looking in the Christmas section when we were when we were down down in Florida, um, and uh, on on demand movies and. With the Christmas movies, Die Hard was in every. It's yeah, it's now Christmas. Yep, that's funny. Die Hard Arcade, it's, man, that's a great game. It's not officially Christmas till Hans Gruber falls off the <laughs> off of a building. <laughs> True. Now this is one I completely forgot about until I looked it up. I looked up a uh, Christmas video game, and I man, you have to dig really deep to find anything good. Santa Claus saves the Earth. On the PlayStation, came out of two thousand two. Check this game out. This game is weird. It's some weird shit. Like Santa Claus is a double agent, and he has kung fu grip and what floppy titties. I don't know. It's weird. And we're back on that previous time. <laughs> Yay! We're back on floppy titties. Woo! Montage. <laughs> I don't want to see a montage of that. Sure you do. No, I don't. Got his own montage at home. I know. Shut up, Obi. Shut up. She Christmas star- time she to started me. it, God damn it. She's a fucking started I'll it. I'll put you in the scooter and you gotta deal with those flakes again. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Christmas time, guys, is about sharing and fuck you and loving. I like how you're saying this after the, everything's Yogi said or not Yogi. Uh... Huh? Wow, just, he just called like, me. Like, cut off. I'm sorry. He cut off. You no, cut he off. Just, I didn't hear you. No, he just called me you. And this is the last time you ever seen War Child on this show. <laughs> I said I like how you're saying it after um, after Obi's all like. <laughs> Let alone NSFW. Oh, <laughs> got it. Because you're like, wait a minute now. Stop. This is a time for hugs and lovable actions. And Bill, neither yeah. science guy. Well, I was gonna say something else, but now I lost the mojo. Something about gifts and loving on their titties. <laughs> gifts <laughs> or gifts? Gilfs. G I L F S. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you. Now that I'm reaching my years, I'm like the sixty and up. Porn mags are really hot to me. Mm. How old are you, Yogi? <laughs> He's about there. <laughs> how, how? What? For He's real? He's in his upper 50s, man. You didn't know that? You for oh, real? Yeah. I got a few false teeth, man. It ain't easy. Oh, okay, I, I guess that, that explains it. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. It's like, <laughs> Listen, uh, you, got, you left now. It's not here. Well, you the know, young women are fun to look at. But they don't know what they're doing. An older woman, man. I like that maturity. And then she could cook. You know, that's the thing. Nowadays, you get a, you know, yeah, you <laughs> could get yourself a little 18, 19 year old. But then she won't even know how to make rice or toast. What's the point? I want a woman that could, you know, ride or die and then give me a, d- a, a meal. Ride or die, my Ride or die without ride popping or- a hip. Right. You know, I'm spoken for now, but I'm saying if I had to do it over again, you know, I, I would stay the course. Sure, Older women are better. <laughs> BFT is killing these comments. <laughs> Son. <laughs> <laughs> so last time I was at Six Flags, I saw this woman wearing a t-shirt where all you could see was the outline of two very sad titties. Seriously look like two balloons <laughs> that were deflated. Aww. Deflated. Oh, that makes me sad. <laughs> Not <laughs> I as can't sad as she was. <laughs> you know, it's funny too, because like, what a dick. It, like people are either really <laughs> confident or just delusional. Because like the people that wear tight stuff or certain clothes are oh, the people that shouldn't be wearing it. No yeah. idea. Yeah, dude. I dude, swear to God, the only thing 
that is allowed in Disney World is fucking spandex. Like, Ugh. I've seen... So no, no, no. Well, yeah, some of it was ill. But, dude, I've seen so many, like, really tight... <sighs> How do I say this? You guys uh, just, remember just, when just... I was talking about, like, I'm at ass level? Obi, there are good if it's things that about bad that. to talk about... You can stop because no, it sounds no. like you're reliving everything. Oh, no. This is the good part. <laughs> He's triggered. You remember when I was talking to you guys about I was at ass level, right? Like, literally, mm -hmm. I saw everybody's ass. Everybody's. There were some nice ones. I think my wife caught me looking a couple times. But there were some really, like, you ever seen those pictures online where it says, ooh, yes, and it's some tight, you know, really tiny girl with spandex. She's got a nice fucking ass. and. And then you got the other one, you get another picture next to her with a fat chick with spandex, and it goes, no. Yeah. Yeah, there was some of those no's. That's there what were, I'm saying. Were, it's like, if you don't want to talk about it. No, no, there were a lot of. <laughs> how many scooters did you wreck? Because um, I'm many, like. <laughs> I almost ran into things like like the, the poles and the fences looking at spandex. And there, there, were I... some, there were some really good ones. Because I can imagine you looking at the really good ones, and all of a sudden you get that. Well, I get. I can... And then you go into a bush, and it flips over, and the bush catches on fire. No, no, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was one of those things where I would look, and then I would feel. I would literally feel like you've you've had it, War Child Yogi, you too, where you're you can feel your wife staring at you, and going, you know, kind of looking at her face is what the fuck are you looking at. I know you guys Actually, have had it. I haven't. I haven't had that look. Look, he just diffused the situation by grabbing both her titties at the same time, and going honk honk. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, of course. Hypothetically speaking. Yeah, well, well, God, sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, see. Courtesy. Yeah. See? <laughs> good work. <laughs> Oh, we're with that, folks. With that, folks, I think this is where we conclude our Christmas show. Oh, shit. Oh, so, you know, and I, I, I'm down for talking more Christmas stuff after Christmas. You know, I, I like the season a lot. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I, I do want to recommend two games to check out. One's called Astroneer. It's on a game preview yeah, program Astro. on uh, Xbox One. <laughs> and another one's called job. Trove. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's Minecraft with more of a purpose, and it's from Tryon, the folks that did uh that do Rift and Defiance and a bunch of other great MMOs. So check those out. Trove and Astroneer recommendation in the moment, and of course Rainbow Six Siege. If you don't have that game by now, what's wrong with you? Seriously, I'm working on it. <laughs> if you like shooters, you gotta have it. I got so one of the two that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And also, if you complain that you don't have any games to play with us, this is the game we're playing every day! This is just a general statement for whoever is like, oh, I never get to play with you guys. We don't have the same games. Listen, 20 bucks or cheaper, you get Rainbow Six Siege. And we have tons of people playing the game. Yeah, literally. That's all. Or, you know, you better be there at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? So I'm, I'm gonna say, you know, if you say you're gonna play, you better be there at ten o'clock on the dot. Don't be late. <laughs> oh, he got him. We're gonna put up a YouTube video. Oh, he's in bed now. He ain't even listening to y'all podcast. Good, he can sleep up to the next time when he wants to play. Oh yeah, yeah. and get Rainbow Six Siege on uh, Xbox One. That's a, that's the cat. That's important to know. Siege. So, <laughs> you guys will probably be seeing us. Yeah. Uh, we'll do. Let's remember that. <laughs> no doubt. You sure oh. will. Won't be catching me over there ever. Hey. <laughs> he says that now. I said I'm the same thing. There. I said the same thing when I was on Xbox a long time ago. And then Xbox let me down. Felt crushed. Yeah, but PlayStation's been fucking biting the bullet lately. On multiple eh. games. Eh. Eh. 
still good. Well, like what? One game that matters right now. Which is? Infinite Warfare. That's all you got? Scene. Yeah. I'm not, dude, it's, it's all about the competitive scene for me. Not, nothing to do with with any of the games because there's there's games on PlayStation that I can't like I bought the game already uh like MLB the show uh 17 came out I bought that one already I don't even have a PlayStation hooked up yet but those are the, like that game right there um if I was just going to get the PlayStation for one game that would be the game I would get it for cuz I can't play it on Xbox but we're not mm. we're not getting into we're not having Xbox and PlayStation wars that's not no, we're. This is all about. I don't know. I quit. <laughs> you just sounded so crushed. I know. What happened? I, feel well, like... hey, we, I know we're going over time, so just a quick outro. Where can everybody be found? Obi, where can people find you? You guys can find me at TSC Obi One on Twitter and Instagram. Of course, make sure you guys check out all the the past uh, vacation videos here on YouTube. TSC Obi Wan Kenobi, go check that out. And of course, um, big shout outs and make sure you guys follow on Twitter um, and everywhere else that we are. I don't got a bunch of things going on Instagram, of course, at TSC, at, sorry, at Top Star Esports. Check them out. Um, we got some stuff going on here shortly. We're streaming more, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Work child, where can people find you? Uh, like always, you can find me at my main site, warchildgame.com, or on Twitter underneath Warchild Games. Uh, Twitch is Warchild MKIV, but I'm actually toying with the idea because I've already got the name on Twitch as well, Warchild Games. So I'm toying with the idea of putting some videos up on that. All that is right, all. All right, all right. Well, right, I'm Yogizilla everywhere, Xbox Live, Twitch, Steam. Though I'm not really doing Twitch uh, as much on my channel. I'm focused on the Geeky Antics crew. Be part of the community, be part of family. Go over to geekyantics.net. We have a uh, Facebook page. We got the uh, a bunch of groups for Xbox, Elder Scrolls, a bunch of stuff, even fantasy sports and just sports talk in general. Look us up, join the conversation, be part of the movement, unify, we'll do great things together. You know, unify and multiply. That should be the new slogan. Unify and multiply. Uh, we don't die. We multiply. Oh, it's baby's right. kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> or, or if you play, if you love Guardian Heroes, uh, what what is it? Blank never says ah. Someone, someone will get that. Someone will get that reference, and I'll be like, yeah, Sega love. What up? What up? <laughs> Te hashtag Team Sega. What up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help you. Man, you really do that well, Obi. That sounds just like you. Sounds just nuts like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was perfect. The timing, impeccable. Montage. I was ready. <laughs> Get to with the montage, son. <laughs> All right, folks. Okay. Hey, you know, depending on whenever you hear this, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We will be catching you before the New Year. What is it? Yeah, next uh, next show will be on the 29th. I will not May be here. Obi -Wan I Obi -Wan will be here. here. Uh, yeah, I will not be here. Sure the will. 29th, uh, one more quick thing. Sorry, Yoke. The 20, uh, this, this is the last week for me. I will be back on the... Blah blah blah. Yes. yes the blah, blah blah blah. Is I that be, Norse I will numbers? be I will be back on the <laughs> on the week of the nineteenth, guys. That's um it's about three weeks. Um just because closing, moving, getting stuff set up, internet, it's just you know, you have to get everything done. So um I'll probably be calling in more than likely. Um okay. depends on what's going on with it. So next week, folks, will likely be our anime special. Here so War Child, get caught up on some stuff. We have to we have to keep in touch during the week and uh, coordinate on what what shows we watch, and then we'll comment together. 
Yogi right. anime, Definitely. and we'll do like maybe uh like the our games of the year, like a little mini mini uh se- segment. Tentatively, I've actually, actually been working on that. I've just been trying to work on like top ten things of 2016. Oh, there you go. So we we'll combine like and we'll, we'll form like Voltron, mm, the Lion Voltron, not that shitty car Voltron. Fuck I know, that. right? Take it back to like step that. 59. Yogi, did you hear me? Mm. What? I don't remember what I was saying. Good night, guys. <laughs> oh, eyes. no. Play the damn music. I'll see you guys next week. Later, taters. <laughs>